Welcome to another uh, interview in our FM Expert series. Today we've got Peter Forshaw with us. Peter is the Managing Director of Maxwell Stevens Recruitment. Hi, Peter. Hi, good morning. Good to see you. And Peter's going to be sharing with us his insight on what the FM market is like at the moment. So, Peter, let's hear from you. Um, it's not child's play, I'll be honest with you. Um, so we're 17 weeks into lockdown. So Maxwell Stevens as a business, I think it was the 23rd of March, obviously all of a sudden transitioned to working from home. 14 years in as a business, we went from a situation where, I mean, the phone was ringing, things were happening to yeah. nothing. So I just want to briefly talk about my feelings and how this all happened. And then I'm going to sort of relate it to FMs out there potentially who are in need of help. Brilliant. So one week in, it was pretty stressful. I think the reality for the whole country at the time was, what are we going to do? What's going to happen? And then over the last 16 or 17 weeks, I'll be honest with you, and I'll say every single week beyond the previous week was a bit more positive yeah. to the point where five weeks ago, six weeks ago, I'm losing track of time here, Beth. <laughs> about six weeks ago, we took the decision uh, to move back to our office. Okay. It was a bit of a hinge moment, actually. Um, you can't ever see what's going to come forward, but you can always look at the dots going backwards. But um, certainly looking back at the last five or six weeks, I would certainly say we've seen the green shoots of recovery. Brilliant. What I didn't want to do when all this was going on was um, sit under a rock and just, um, as I was saying to you briefly a few minutes ago, Beth, like I'm 20 years into my career now and I have this genuine desire to help people. So just to keep myself motivated and also to find out how the world was getting on, I forced myself to ring 200 people per week all in the FM sector. Yeah. Just to have a bit of a catch up. How are you getting on? Can we help? And I put something on the internet for people to book themselves into my diary. And that offer is still there. And I'm sure Beth can share the details with whoever would be interested. Thank you. But I think if you are looking for a job in FM at the moment, obviously the amount of jobs has gone down. So just before lockdown on the 23rd of March, I had a look at my WFM jobs and there was 219 being advertised. Just had a look today on the 14th of July and there's only 45. Wow, that's a big difference. It is a big difference. I would say a lot of the previous jobs were recruiters. So whether you know they're trying to save a bit of cash, who knows, and whether those jobs will slowly get advertised elsewhere. Um, I don't know certainly the amount of jobs we've advertised has come down however I will say on a positive note because we've been doing all the work behind the background I mean we managed to fill a job the other day um, from start to finish the job came in at 8 30 p.m on the email we had an individual job offer at 3 p.m the following afternoon within 15 hours and you know what that's what we need at the moment because people are, are a bit scared and some people are getting a bit desperate and that kind of turnaround just is unheard of isn't it before no, it's absolutely unheard of previous to excuse me okay. sorry, previous to this happening um i would say maxwell stevens used to probably take about two weeks to produce a shortlist right. we'd go out there and interview all the people now, you know, we've done all the hard work. I met 756 people on video last year and um, yeah, we can do it in quite a quick succession. Yeah. In the last five weeks, I'm absolutely delighted to say that we've managed to get 17 people back into Brilliant. employment in the FM sector. All of them were unemployed and believe it or not, none of them, so not one of those 17 people has met the hiring manager or the other way around. So it's all been done virtually. They've all been given permanent job offers. And I think for those people who are out there thinking it's all doom and gloom, my dad once turned around to me and he said, don't believe that everything you read, take it on board, but then make your own decision about it. So if you read the paper, it'd be quite easy for you to be sat at home and be quite sort of doom and gloom, but there are positive green shoots that are starting to happen. And I think as an individual, you have to retain your positive at the moment. Yeah, we need to hear that. Thank you. Yeah. The world is obviously competitive. So I think, um, number one thing I would do is build your network or build relationships. Okay. It's the, as I illustrated, it's the perfect time to get hold of people. It's the, those individuals and those relationships that will keep each other going on. Everyone is in a situation where they want to help each other at the moment. Yeah. And I think if you do give something back, you'll often get something in return. 
Yeah. At least if you ever catch up with someone that knows the situation, the next time they're having a conversation with someone, you never know it could result in what you're looking for. Okay, thank you. I think it's a perfect time to work on your CV. I think because there are less opportunities, when you are applying for a role, it's really important not to apply for everything. I think it's very important to sort of hone maybe what that client is looking for. Just, just stop for a second and give it some thought and work out why the client are recruiting at the moment and what skill set potentially that they're looking for. And then maybe on your cover letter or your cover email, you could answer those sort of things that that company are looking for. Yeah. Just try to think of things that will give you that sort of step ahead when you're making that application. Okay. It's a perfect time to build a bit of resilience. And this comes down to obviously those communications, that friend network. I was thinking the other day, if you were sort of in the more experienced generation and potentially haven't been looking for a job recently, I think it's useful if you were to tap into your, maybe your adults, friends, children, if that makes sense. So the, yeah. the network of people who potentially could help you with maybe it be LinkedIn, Oh, I see. To get their kind of tech, yeah. younger brain knowledge on, okay, some of the systems and things. Yeah, right. Yeah, because you don't want to be left behind yeah. just because you can't work out what that technology is. Yeah. You know, you have, to, you have to have your brand on LinkedIn. You have to have a LinkedIn profile. That's your personal brand. You have to have a CV, which is your past experience. And I would wholly suggest write a personal cover letter or an email on the application and that is what your future self is going to look like. That's what yeah. you can contribute to, you know, the, the future person. Um, I'm just going to read out a quote from Cheryl Sandberg, if that's all right. Yeah. Now, those of you who don't know, uh, she was the chief of staff to the Clintons government, so probably a couple of decades ago. And she then went on to work for Google and then Facebook before Google and Facebook were big. And then what a lot of people don't know is she actually had a year off. So she was coming from government and then she wanted to go into the Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley, sorry, and it took her a year to actually get the opportunity. So she describes a career as a jungle gym, not as a career ladder. So if you look at the traditional career, bottom left to top right, you know, every year you're sort of progressing. I think what she was trying to say was sometimes it's okay to do that, sometimes it's okay to do that. And then sometimes, you know, you get the opportunity to zoom upwards. I think it's all about looking for the opportunity. Now is not the time to sort of argue over, you know, 500 pounds here or a thousand pounds there, or the fact that you don't get your company car or they're not going to pay your mobile phone. Find an opportunity that's going to offer you that future growth, whether it be your job, the company, the division, and then that sort of slight variation on salary. Hopefully if it's the right opportunity, will be fixed longer term. Yeah. Um, Cheryl at the time, actually, I don't know if many people know this, she was sort of um, negotiating on a couple of bits when she decided to take the job with Google. And the person who recruited her turned around and said, if you're offered a seat in a rocket ship, you don't ask what seat, you just get on it. <laughs> That's pretty sound, isn't it? Well, I don't... At the moment, all these things, and you know, we've all had a bit more time to sort of contemplate. And you know, I mean, I've started doing a hundred push-ups a day. I'm in a cold shower in the morning, reading loads of blogs, loads of articles, because like now's the time to upskill yourself. So, what I noticed when all this was going on, I mean, Beth, you'll probably be able to answer more than me, but there was a few sort of providers offering sort of discounts or preferential terms or. I think these things you know needed to be provided to the FM community just to make it easy so yeah. I'm sure you know where to go and all the resources and stuff yeah brilliant well we've got we've got a tiny bit of time left but listen you've given us a, a huge amount of food for thought and I think it is a difficult time for people and I think having companies like yourselves that are open to just having a chat and letting people just come and ask questions and get some kind yeah. of advice. That hasn't always been the case, has it? So um, thank you for that. So and everyone previously was too busy and yeah. you know, this is, this is um, I think it's been a massive level up for yeah. people. Yeah, I agree. Peter, you're a star. Thank you so much. Um, we'll put some information about the link to uh, your catch up calls. And uh, for now, I shall say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's been great.